I'm here in the latest Minecraft snapshot, 14w18a, and some amazing new abilities have been added to the sign block. I'm sure if you've watched any YouTube videos lately, you've probably seen some of their amazing powers, such as dragging other blocks with them, or... the ability to throw entities into the air. And of course, the best entity of them all, TNT. Fantastic. With that in mind, it's time to build some big guns. What we have here is a high power jump gun. Basically, press the button, charge, ammo, bam. Unlike normal cannons, which place TNT down in water to prevent it from destroying the blocks around, and then a short while later drop another TNT and fire it that way, we're using dispensers to light the TNT on top of slime blocks. And why? Yep, there we go. Flying. They're all connected to this piston, which will then push them into the air. So, press the button, chain of uh, repeaters to the piston to delay, whereas we have a direct signal to the uh, dispensers. And then there's a slightly shorter delay, but still a pretty substantial delay, that connects to this, where our actual projectile is going to be dispensed. Boop, and they go up and fire. Now, what are the advantages of this design? Well, of course, there's the fact that it doesn't use water, and if you've been playing this snapshot much with TNT, you'll notice there is has been a bug, actually, for a couple of snapshots, where the water does not work right to stop TNT. So this actually works. And we have the advantage that since it throws things up, you could have this on one side of a wall, or even underground, which makes it... Oh, bit more defensible. Plus, it just looks cool. Of course, if you don't want to keep pressing the button over and over again, we can use a chain of repeaters headed back toward the first end to relight. This gives us a nice fully automatic version. And it's... I do not know why it is so weak. That's weird. Anyway. Unimportant. Next up, this version, which I have a slightly extended area here, up, uses a charge of three TNT. Leading to, of course, greater levels of destruction. another one of these out there. Here, rather than a cluster of three, we have an array of five. Resulting in a wondrous spread.
last but not least, I am to demonstrate for you whoa, a far more defensible position. We have our castle wall, our underground cannon, and this is the, uh, the cluster design combined with automatic. As you can see, I've already managed to annihilate a very large portion of the landscape. In fact, so much that some of these are just going to go off in the air. Yeah. Air bursts. Now imagine you're attacking this fortress and uh, all you see is just suddenly TNT, boom. It's coming out of nowhere. And of course, uh, it does damage this wall a little bit. It should be maybe a couple blocks farther. Um, but imagine you're actually trying to attack this fortress with conventional cannons going to be much more difficult to actually damage this one as it's buried. And of course it could be buried significantly deeper. Um, important note, this obsidian is here so that when TNT is dispensed it won't uh, jump to the sides because you know how it it has this random movement so that just keeps it in line or else you'll lose significant levels of accuracy see it bounced to the side and now we've shot way over there Of course, you can replace the obsidian with any solid block that will not be pushed by the slime. If I used... Why am I doing it on this one? Oops, broke it. If I used instead this antisite... doesn't work so well because then the slime blocks grab it. Uh, you could use furnaces, you could use dispensers. I wouldn't recommend using chests because they don't take up the entire block. Uh, I think obsidian is just the best bet. But you can choose any immovable solid block. Just take a nice flyer by... It's not a very complicated design, and, you know, it blows stuff up. That's that's the best part of Minecraft, right? <laughs> Alright, there you have it. Have fun.